So on the last episode of Dirt Garage, you guys saw me pick up this one-ton Chevy truck. In less than two weeks, we're using this Chevy to haul my Toyota down to Moab, which is about an 18-hour highway trip. So we need to make sure this thing is in tip-top shape to make the trip. And not only that, but I need to find a way to mount my rooftop tent to the Chevy truck because the Chevy truck is gonna be base camp when I'm in Moab. Brought to you in part by Alpine Toyota. And first on the list, oil, oil change. <laughs> And of course, with new oil, I've got a new filter to throw on there as well. All right, oil filter is replaced, the drain plug is put back in, and now it's time to top this thing back up. Now, the auto parts store lady told me that we need about nine liters, and these guys are about 3.78 each, so it should take two full ones and a bit of this one. Well, with just two of those jugs, it shows more than full on the dipstick, so I'm gonna run it for a bit and then check it again. Yeah, it's a little over full, so I'll just crawl underneath, pull the plug again, let out a little bit of oil, and then check it. But hey, now I know for future reference that I only need to buy two of those jugs. There, I let a little out and it is like right on full. Oil change, done. So when it comes to the rack for my rooftop tent, I think I'm gonna keep it extremely basic. Maybe some angle iron going over these rails here and then some two by two or two by one steel going straight across and connecting to the angle iron on the opposite side. Keep it low, flush with the truck. I think overall it's probably gonna look pretty stupid <laughs> no matter what to have that little rooftop tent on this massive truck. But hey, I don't want the rooftop tent on my pickup while we're wheeling, so it's gonna get mounted to the tow rig. All right, so I went shopping and I found these pieces of angle iron. So those will go here. I'll probably drill through the rail here and bolt this in place. And I also dug up these guys, which is just some black iron pipe, which will get welded to this. I'll more than likely notch it, so that it sits over top and then weld it over the top here too. I think it'll just look better that way as well. And that should be good. Two crossbars, two rail attachments, weld it together, bing, bang, boom, done. There, so there is the back bar welded on. What I am gonna end up doing is capping these guys. Ooh, that's hot. And uh, then it'll essentially be done. So now I just need to replicate this one more time down here. Okay, so all the fabrication stuff is officially done. As you can see here, I've capped all of the ends. And uh, yeah, now it's the time to pull this thing off and I'm going to paint it. And the plan for painting it is it's getting a rubberized texture coating.
Okay. All right, she's officially done and bolted in the place. There is one, two, three, four bolts holding it in, one on each corner, and she is gonna be stout. Dude, it wasn't easy putting it up here by myself. No, I'm sure not. <laughs> I'm sure that took a little bit of finagling. Okay, so if we can so get this rail can... to there, and then I'll jump on the other, jump inside. Yeah. And scoot it over. Yeah. Oh, there's a little leakage here, that's all right. <laughs> Water coming out of it? Yeah. Okay. Just, Get out of my hole! Just this lip, that's all. You know? Okay. I need to be right there. Okay, perfect. Thank you, guys. All right, Sam, what do you think? This is my house now. I live here forever. And ever? And ever. I'm not going back inside. <laughs> I mentioned in the last video that it is extremely filthy in here, as you can see uh, with the oil change footage. So I'm gonna set up my pressure washer and uh, go to town, try to avoid the alternator and all the electronic stuff, obviously. Well, hey, that didn't clean up half bad. It's a lot less dusty now anyways. All right, so I came up here to test out the car trailer. I wanna make sure that all the trailer wiring works. Like I got brake lights, turn signals, running lights, and trailer brakes. But if you look at the connector on the truck, uh, the bracket's very bent, which makes it impossible to plug in. So I'm gonna have to try to fix that somehow. Well, the connector was actually hanging into this bracket by a thread, so I pulled it out, but now, should be able to plug this guy in. Just like that. All right, let's see if it works. Well, clearly something ain't right. The connector looks like it's all solid there-ish. <laughs> so I'm gonna check the fuse box. Maybe there's a fuse for trailer lights. That was easy. All right. Okay. Oh, very blown. Oh, it's on for half a second. So I guess no wonder the wiring wasn't working. Uh, it's all super corroded and rusty in here. One of the main cables, uh, which I'm assuming is a ground, just judging by the fact that it is black, uh, is completely disconnected. And yeah, none of these are making a good connection by any means. So we'll replace this plug with this guy that we just picked up from Canadian Tire and uh, we should be good. All right, so it's all wired up and good to go. I tested everything here. And now I just need to mount the new plug. I'm not gonna use this old mount. I'm actually gonna put it right up here beside the license plate. So I got my hole saw, that's the right size for it. So uh, yeah, I'll start drilling her out. Boom. Now that's okay. That'll work good. Okay, lights? Lights. 
Break. Break. Sweet. Third signal. Yeah. You know, the funny thing about YouTube that you probably don't see much in a lot of other videos is we came out here into the bush specifically to set up the tent literally just for the thumbnail shot. That's it. We'll set up the tent, get our thumbnail shot because the title of this video is going to be something like building a overland rack for my Chevy one ton and just to, yeah, get our shot, take it down and uh, head back. Anyways guys, that about wraps up this week's episode of Dirt Garage and I hope you enjoyed it. In less than a week we'll be using this Chevy truck to tow my Toyota pickup down to Moab, Utah. So make sure you guys subscribe and stay tuned for some wheeling content down in Moab. Anyways guys, I'll see you next week. Peace. Let's go home. All for the thumbnail. <laughs>